Hi! In this video I'll show you how to create blind hems. With this clever method of folding and stitching you will be able to create hems with machine stitches that are almost invisible. It's a fantastic way to create deep hems on skirts and trousers. It will need some time to master the technique and you will need an extra tool, the blind hem foot. This foot is included in our 32 presser foot set, but it also comes with a lot of machines. So check that out first. Um, what's important is that you will need to make wide hems because it's more difficult with really small hems and it's easier with medium weight fabrics and heavy weight fabrics. But I did it with some synthetics as well and it works. So let's have a look. Line stitching requires some folding and pressing before you can start sewing. I'm drawing three mark lines. The first line in pink at one inch from the edge, the second line in yellow at one inch from the first line and the third white line also one inch from the previous line. First you fold and press the edge inwards at approximately three quarters of an inch and then fold and press the second fold right on the yellow line. This is the length of your skirt or trousers. The third fold is a temporary fold. You have to fold the hem upward like this, right sides facing along the white line. Don't fold the overhanging part with the pink line on it. You should get a little extension on the inner edge and don't press this fold because it's a temporary one. This extension is where you put the blind hem foot. A blind stitch normally has some small zigzags on the right and every few stitches it jumps out to grab the outer fabric on the left. Just snap your blind hem foot on your machine, position the fabric, thread your machine, make sure the little white plastic is in between the two fabric layers. Select the blind stitch and start sewing. The right part of the blind hem stitch will be stitched mainly on the little extension. The stitches also have to take little bites out of the temporary fold on the left. So make sure you position the foot correctly. You can adjust the foot with the little screw in the back. The plastic guide in the front will make sure you will keep on track. And this is what the hem will look like. The right side of the fabric, the back side, and when you open the fold, you can see this. Here I used contrasting thread on both the bobbin and the top thread, so you can see the stitches clearly. And this is how the fabric was folded under your machine. And here I used transparent thread on the top thread and white thread in the bobbin. Same here. So that's it for now. I hope you learned something new and that you are making a lot of beautiful stuff with blind hands.